you will find that 60 to 70 to 80 percent of the time you're going to be using spreads and that's really the smart way to play the options game. It then becomes very critical to understand how spreads work and what happens if a trade is going against you then how do you adjust the trade. When we speak of adjustments we generally refer to adjustments when the trade is going against you but this doesn't always have to be the case. When we talk of the single options it's easy to adjust if we have a long call then we can either buy a long put or we can sell another option on the call side itself uh, to negate the effects of the long call or the long put. When it comes to spreads you already have two options there you have a short option and a long option. So now you're going to add either a third option or you're going to add on to one of the existing options or you're going to take something off of one of the existing options. So it's a little bit more tricky. You know, it's very important for you to understand these adjustments because what's going to happen is the spread becomes the basis of your option strategy. So you learned the four basic options to move to the spread level. What happens when you move past the spread level? Well, what happens, what's going to happen is you'll see that you're going to go into the advanced strategies like the iron condors and things like that. Those strategies are composed of spreads. If the entire options playbook is our playground, then the spread occupies the maximum role in this playbook. The spread is a building block to the more advanced strategies and once you know how to adjust a spread, it's going to make all your advanced strategies all the more simpler to adjust. So for the purposes of this course what I want to do is to take an example of one debit spread and one credit spread and the analysis we do or the uh, learning that we get out of analyzing these two it would be exactly similar similarly applied to the other two spreads as well.